Under the last two videos, I've been getting comments that I guess could make sense, and we'll explore it, but could LR Cell Max actually be an anniversary character for Global Dokkan? If it makes sense, it makes sense. Will it happen? Let's figure out, because again, Cell Max could easily drop earlier for Global than expected, and if he was an anniversary character, that would be a completely new, um, you know, anniversary character for Global that JP didn't get, even though JP already has the character, him being within the anniversary celebration would definitely be very interesting, but again, let's just test the theory out to see if it would work. I also got a lot of comments saying that I still can't catch people lacking, so we have another episode of the Dokkan Prize Box. This is a game show where all you need to do is test whether you are worthy of LR Beast Gohan's presence. If you failed this last time, this is your chance at redemption, and if you got it right last time, are you still worthy? Let's do a quick little test before we actually hop into the video. Go ahead and guess which box Beast Gohan is behind. I'll give you three seconds to pick a box and know you're not allowed to change it. If you get it right, congratulations, you are now worthy or you're still worthy. And if you get it wrong, you got called lack and you got to drop. Yeah, basically, now let's do, let's do two push-ups. Only two push-ups today. And since you got called lack and you got to subscribe to the channel, it's very simple. All right, I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. If you thought I put him in the right side again, you got called lacking. That right there is Kefla. If you thought I put her or him on the left side, <laughs> no, that's Bulma. It's very simple. He was right below. Did you get called lacking today? Beast Gohan is in the middle. If you picked the middle, congratulations. If you didn't, you know what you got to do. Let's hop into the video here. So keep this in mind, right? LR Cell Max releasing for Global's anniversary is an interesting idea, but everything has to make sense. Right now, the anniversary characters are going to release around the 7th of July. I think they may actually this year release on the 8th or the 9th, so we'll have to see. So we can push this day back, you know, a day or two. Which means that part 2 is going to release around the same time as last year, as it always does. Around the 25th, 26th, 24th, maybe even the 27th of July. Okay, that's when part 2 begins, and that is when the part 2 banners release. So people were saying, what about LR Cell Max for part 3? Is that a possibility? Well, for that to work, part 3 of the anniversary begins basically the last day of July. But since it seems like these anniversary characters are going to get pushed back, let's say again the 8th or 9th, let's just assume that part 3 begins on the 1st of August. That would mean that if LR Cell Max released on the 1st of August, that would be another LR right after releasing... Basically, one week later after releasing Beast Gohan and Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. That seems way too unrealistic to me. There's no way they're going to drop dual Dokkan Festival. Actually, no, a Carnival LR and a Dokkan Fest. And then another Carnival LR and another Dokkan Fest. And then one week later, drop an LR, right? So, if LR Cell Max were to release, um, you know, during Global's anniversary, maybe they push back because look as you can see here the anniversary officially ends all the way through the 18th of august so technically speaking beast go sorry not beast lr cell max could release maybe a few days into part three so let's say you know lr cell max released on the 10th let's say just the 10th of august so if he released on the 10th of august that would mean that our goat here uh where is my goat uh physical topo Still needs to release. As you know, we always have a Dokkan Fest, like we're going to get with Physical Topo, after the end of the anniversary and right before the start of the Worldwide Download Celebration. And that Dokkan Fest character tends to release around the time that we're now, you know, theorizing that LR Cell Max could release. So we have two options. Either they push back LR Cell Max, again, around the 8th, 9th, or 10th which would still technically be uh, considered within the time frame of part three. So let's like, let's, yeah, let's say he releases on the 8th, right? Of August. And then let's say, you know, Topo releases, I don't know, man, what, on the 18th of August? So, you know, a week and three days later? If that was the case, then we have another dual Dokkan Festival or another Carnival um, and Dokkan Festival releasing at the end of the month for August, which... 
um, yeah, the 27th. So literally, what is that, nine days after? So we're going to go in the month of July and August. We're going to go dual Dokkan. Oh, sorry, I keep saying dual Dokkan. I'm just so used to that format. Carnival LR and Dokkan Fest in July, beginning of July. And then Carnival LR and then Dokkan Fest at the end of July. And then another LR at the beginning of August, a Dokkan Fest in the middle of August, and another Carnival and Dokkan Fest LR at the end. That is way too much. Free players can't even manage that. And players who spend money in the game is going to be very hard for them to manage that as well. LR Cell Max, if he were to release, he would have to completely absolutely completely replace physical topo because again we do get a character at the beginning sorry at the end of uh anniversary and, and right before the start of the worldwide so we do get a character in that slot but if we were yeah if sub max were to drop he would have to completely replace uh physical topo which brings back the original issue i had in this video in these two videos i was basically talking or basically uh, Essentially, the last video, I was talking about how the introduction of Cell Max messes things up because it doesn't matter who drops next, guys. It doesn't matter who drops next for Global after the anniversary. The fact is we have a whole new character to consider. So if Cell Max replaces Topo, we still have another character that we need to get and we are still one whole character away um, from this hypothetical sync that's probably not going to happen until 2025 so the more characters that jp gets that global doesn't have the farther away the sync uh basically goes and it doesn't matter who drops next for global after anniversary it could be topo and we're still missing one character or it could be cell max and we're still missing one character if you're asking me topo makes the most sense they don't really just drop lrs like that um it's it'd be a little bit weird is it possible absolutely global is very weird global does very weird things however um, i just don't see that being a very likely case so it seems like cell max um is going to look at at the end of the anniversary i think topo will be releasing because dokkan fest usually release at the end of the anniversary just like kale last year and you know str videl before and all those other characters that released um and prior like raditz the year before that so we have so many cases and documents uh or not cases and documents but so many documented cases there you go of doe conference releasing after the anniversary so some max just releasing like that randomly would be a little weird and it's just it's it's hard to really place when we're going to see lr cell max but no it doesn't make sense it'll be dude imagine getting imagine getting from the beginning of July, always to the end of August. Imagine getting three Carnival LRs, three Dokkan Festival LRs, one Dokkan Fest, and a Yellow Coin LR. That's that's basically what's happening. Because remember that the banners for Worldwide drop at the end of the month. Look at this: Vegito and Buhan a few years ago dropped at the end of August. And I can pull up every other case, at least recently, like the last three four years of this of these worldwide celebration start dates these characters drop at the end of august with like three four days left to spare i think um there was a case of one of them dropping like the 31st or something but still it's like it's still the end of august so in a two month span you have three carnival lrs three doe confess lrs one doe confess and a yellow coin lr that is eight new banners actually no not technically because you know, oh, yeah, no it is hold on wait so we have yeah one banner for one one yeah so carnival yeah, each carnival has its own banner, and each Dokkan Fest, so that's three, car yeah, that's six banners. And then, am, am I tri Yeah, and then Topo is one, and then Cell Max is one. So that's eight banners in two months. And these are, like, not easy A banners that you can do this on, or, like, you know, category summon banners. These are, ma these are major releases, right? That just seems like way too much. And there was a similar case of this happening a few years ago where people were saying, no, we can we can get Janemba, you know, it's we can get Goji at the beginning of the month and then physical Janemba part two and then here, like, this is too much. And it didn't happen because, again, it was too much and Janemba was pushed all the way back <laughs> until, like, January. So, I'm telling you now, um, if Cell Max were to release, he would have to either completely replace Topo or Topo would come out and Cell Max is dropping after the worldwide download celebration. And if they do manage to release both, if I'm completely wrong, they do manage to release both before the anniversary or sorry, before the worldwide. I'm sorry, little players, but you're going to have to really manage your stones because that is just way too, I wouldn't, that is way too much to deal with. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and peace.